Yeah, yeah, I have, yeah, okay. well, I have two younger sisters than my younger brother. That was okay. But I mean, the sisters, Your sister yeah. knighted a planking competition once, and his sister can plank for like three minutes, no problem. Man, I get and to I 45 even... minutes, and it's already like... 45 seconds? 45 seconds. 45 seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like I was some like, sort of a humble brag. Hey, yeah, I, I go 45 <laughs> minutes. I know you're big and all <laughs> and now, I, but I sweat a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, 45 Yeah, seconds. she's a planking machine. But so me and him, so yo, I broke 250, which wow. is like... That I think that was the the mark for me. I was like, nice. I gotta do something. I love it when you have to like get to a point where you're like I hate myself. Yeah, <laughs> enough to yeah, do yeah, something yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty easy to get there for me, but I was like, I don't know why that was the two fifty. The number doesn't seem like you number. could even hit two fifty. Yeah, bro, I hit two fifty three. That's like Francis Ngano. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like you're in that yeah. weight group. <laughs> yeah. So I was listening to you're uh, everywhere. I might have been listening to your guys' podcast, mm-hmm. and somebody said something about. No, okay, so it wasn't your podcast. Somebody, somebody, a female <laughs> mentioned uh, dating uh, her ex, okay. who was an obese man, mm-hmm. oh, man. and uh, she's like, yeah, you know, he was like uh, 5'11", 6 foot, like 260. I was like, mm. hey, man. These are my numbers. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I was like, okay, let me set it 10 pounds below that. <laughs> I hit 250. I'm like, yo, we got to, we got to, we got to yeah. put some work in. So then oh, good. me and my brother, I mean, we're, I mean, you have a brother, like yeah. we're, we're super competitive. So oh yeah. He's always Body trying to get me. to the max. Oh, hundred percent. Omer will come and just ho- grab the fat on the side of me. He's like, Hey, what are you doing with this? Are you yeah. doing anything with this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've had greetings where it's not even like what's up or daps. It was like rub my tummy. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But, uh, so then, uh, we decided, okay, let's, let's try to do something in the gym, whatever. We just, we ended up going straight, weight, straight up weight loss mm-hmm. instead of uh, body fat percentages, which probably would have been the best thing to do. Right. Amen. So I did a month of it. And then, uh, for me, I won't do anything unless it's competition. All right. Do you of know course. what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, what else that is we there? Put, that's the whole thing. Jeez, vanity. That's you're, even like we were competing about, like, with like heart out. disease. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like, that's not, I need, I need a visual. Like, you know what I mean? I like he's like a father of two. He's like, no, 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 I need to do it for something. Yeah. <laughs> something else. Yeah, yeah. Mario tries to tell me longevity. The kids need you around. I'm like, mm, I can't see it. Yeah. But, Can I make fun uh, of my little brother? So what's the process? What are you doing? Nah, not, <laughs> I'm not eating. <laughs> well, no, it's very frustrating for, for my friends and family to hear. But, uh, so I won. Uh, and I, I dropped it. He's like, I just don't eat. Nah, it wasn't <laughs> even that. So what it was, was believe it or not, I just basically cut to like 75% of what I, what I eat. I don't work out. I'm lazy as shit. So for example, when I go to Subway, uh huh, I get two foot long subs as a normal. Okay. Instead, now I'll get a. Foot Are you and talking a half. my numbers? That's that's, yeah. I, that's I like to eat until I hate myself. That's too. the thing. Like I if I'm not if, if I'm not full and sick, I'm not happy. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. What's that? No, I actually go and I order a foot long and a six inch, that like a stupid seem, idiot. That doesn't okay. even sound like a financial. <laughs> right, right, right. No, no, it's horrible. It's horrible for the. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. RBC, RBC tracks my like thing by itself, and right, it gives right. me a pie graph. Yeah, yeah. The, the food section of the pie graph, I'm like shit. You do not that need is to tell me, man. Horrible. Anyway. All right, can I just shit on this just for hundred percent, hey, bro? Subway's not your problem. <laughs> That's not a thing you need to cut back on, probably. <laughs> I know. It's not like, I know hey, this. No, 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 no. I know this. Extra no, no. six inches <laughs> wait, wait. at fifty pounds. Wait, it's like it's like if you get a full if you get a full sub, yeah. it's like a tuna sub. If right. you get a full tuna sub, it's it's like fast a thousand it's, calories. Yeah, it's not fine, only that. Though. The so way I, I do, eat it for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. But here's the deal. <laughs> what I normally do used to go for a six inch. Yeah. Here we go. We're, we're competing on hate food. Mm. Um, I would go in for a three cheese panini as well. That would be my. That would be my. Oh, that's the dessert. What's wrong exactly. with you guys? I get you. The dessert. And, yeah. then, and then they also have, they always have Miss Vicky's. And they have the, the Miss Vicky's with the, the blue label. It's like the onion, sweet onion thing. Yes, 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 yes. Take yes. that, rip that, put that into the bag. Oh my God, that is. Yeah. You ever put uh, chips inside your sub? Yes, to I get do. get that crunch? Yes, yeah. I do. Well, well, I mean, that yeah. yeah. should be obvious, yeah, but yeah, people 100%. don't think about that. So Worst good. hate food, like hate eating episode. Um, That would have to be Burger King. Yeah, mine's a burger thing too. Okay, so I would go to Burger King and I would order three BK fish combos. One of them is the jalapeno one. Okay. Then you order onion, a large onion rings with two zesty dipping sauce. Yeah. One mm-hmm. of the zesty z- dipping sauce is for the onion rings. The other zesty dipping sauce, you order a poutine, and then you pour the z- I like you it. pour yeah. the zesty dipping sauce into that poutine. Yeah. You put you eat- dipping sauce onto the poutine. Yes. <clears throat> the zesty <clears throat> dipping sauce onto the poutine. Man, this then is like Texas there. level. Like mixture of foods. I'm like, I should have been born in Texas. <laughs> also, you don't take this food out of the car. Yeah. The shame stays else, yeah, inside. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. So it becomes real phone. when you leave the car. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You take wow. out the phone. You find like you, like <laughs> a Wi-Fi thing. Put on put on Netflix and some yeah. dumbass show. Yeah. And you just sit there and then you eat. 
And what you're trying to do is outpace the signal to your brain that says yeah. you're full. I feel that 15 minute mark. Like I have like, an yeah. inter- I, I know when that's going to happen. Exactly. So I'm I feeling a little nauseous full. just thinking about yeah. it, but also a little excited. Yep. That's so interesting, I'm re- guys. I, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. I did, now mind you, this is over a span of five hours, yeah. but I did uh, 21 cheeseburgers. Wow. From uh, McDonald's. Jeez, 21 like, cheeseburgers. Like falling asleep with like a, that's a like half a burger stuck suicide. to my face. Like, yeah, that's when I'm you try re- to kill yourself. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think I was trying to kill myself. <laughs> I mean, it was during it was, my breakup when I was it, doing this. It was like, it, it was, I was just like, how far can I actually go? Yeah. Jeez. And then I thought I died, but I just fell asleep. Yeah. Mm. I woke up with a half a bun like stuck to my face. Wow. I'm like, is this rock bottom? It should have been. Should be. Also, no. the, the level of rock Wait. bottom you hit when you do that type of thing is that you don't want to get out of the car to throw away the food. Now, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big believer. The car. <laughs> I'm a big believer on like recycling and then, you know, treating the environment well. But after an episode like that, yeah. as you drive home, you, you just, open the window you and just, you just start chucking no. stuff out the window. <laughs> because, because it's so much self-loathing that Man. you don't even want to take a trip from your car to a garbage thing and you don't yeah. want to bring it home. Yeah. Because that's that's like bringing the shame home. That's mm-hmm. also like failure. Like if it's food so, lasts until home. So, I think yeah, it's yeah. also a felony. Like it I think has it's to be. It's also a ticket and a half. <laughs> yeah, it's like littering. It's like $500. <laughs> I, think it like the the <laughs> I think it might be $5,000. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just do that. No, I don't do this very often. It's like, <laughs> you know, he's at least done it a few times and I don't even know. I don't do this often. I've only broken up with 16 women. So. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, boy. Uh, you know what's weird? And this is interesting because I don't think uh, everybody's aware of this. As a person that goes the other way, I will just stop eating when I'm having a tough time with something. Mm-hmm. I will stop eating for maybe some, like I've had a day where I haven't, I won't eat. So here's the thing. What fills your time then? Uh, self-loathing. For the most part, see, that's See, when what you're trying food. to get away from. Yeah, yeah. when you eat yeah. food, you forget about it. You're hitting, Until afterwards, you're hitting, you delay do- it at least. Yeah, you're getting dopamine. I, I'll eat once I get nauseous of not eating. See, I'll eat until I get nauseous. Yeah, no, it's. And just like you were saying, you know, you hit 250. Mm-hmm. I hit 136. Jesus. And that, that, like, I looked at myself and I was like, oh, I couldn't hate myself anymore. How tall are you? I'm like 5'8, five, 5'9. So then I got a personal trainer. I got to 155. And uh, now I got the flu last week and lost eight pounds. The flu will make you lose eight pounds? The flu will make you no, lose no, no, eight no, no, pounds. No, 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 no. Regular people who get regular run-of-the-mill flu, you might lose a little bit. Say, yeah. got, say got hit with like the, the it most, was a bad one. The yeah. most persistent thing. Like at first yeah. it was like the Wouldn't opening leave. salvo was like a little bit of a sore throat. He's feeling down. And then he kept on like trying to fight it. And it just kept on like twisting yeah. the knife to the there point was, where it got rough there's certain that, things uh, i can't even say on here real talk like real oh wow yeah i like, uh i uh, i'll even say it uh <laughs> like shut up shut up let me say it this flu gave me like a hemorrhoid oh. really you ever have a your cough inside so hard when your asshole's like i'm gonna have a reaction it's how hard you're coughing up there god yeah. damn yeah i'm good with it now it's all over but yeah. like dude it was a three days of like everything going wrong and i can't eat then like i don't want to eat and i can't i'm just sick i'm eating as much as i can yeah but my body is like oh we're gonna throw up all of this if you like it's a i hate getting sick and i don't get too often when it yeah, happens same thing happens. to me i went through that uh uh was it norovirus or norwalk virus yeah, a I couple years ago i hate it when they name it then you yeah know then it's yeah yeah then it sounds like, serious Ooh. and i was just i mean both ends i yeah. couldn't Ooh. stop i remember like having like sitting on the toilet and having garbage can in front of yeah, me and just releasing at the same yeah, time far i had that as well i, I literally was... told mari <laughs> i told mari at one point i was it was like the pursuit of happiness scene where he's wow. holding the door yeah. <laughs> with his foot because Mario's trying to come in and try yeah. to help me. Right, but right, right. If I'm sick, I don't. I want to be left yeah, alone. I want to like, left all the way to yeah. like yes, yeah, like a hundred percent. There's right. no. Is your wife the opposite? Just out of curiosity. Oh yeah, yeah. My wife. She the needs opposite. to be baby. If she's sick, she will guaranteed cough in my mouth. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you need to suffer too. Oh yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. she wants Here, to be taken this. care of. <laughs> yeah, yeah she'll like feed you. Yeah. She'll like take a bite out of something and try to give it to you. Well, oh, I'm man. not looking forward to any of this. I feel that. like <laughs> that my, like the the sickness like wants to perpetuate itself, and my wife wants to help it. Yeah, is what it does to her. She'd On one a, hand, I would be a rather horrible zombie. She'd be like <laughs> yeah. a she'd be a boss level yeah. zombie. Yeah. <laughs> Not trying to kill, I would to rather <clears throat> I would rather get sick than anybody else in the fan, like right. obviously, but so I remember getting the Nora, I remember being in the uh in the bathroom in our powder room and holding the door closed with my foot while mm-hmm. Mario's trying to come in and help. And I'm just like, nah. just let me die in here. Just yeah. Just, yeah, we'll deal with this all after. <laughs> 
Jeez. I don't man. want any help. I like I, that. I like that in a man. I'm like, yeah, just die like a gentleman. Like, just, just, just do, quietly. Just quietly, do what you need yeah. to do. And, but here's the thing, though. Th- I think the misconception is that, oh, oh, like I'm playing macho or, or you know, I there's something where I'm trying to be tough. And it's literally not that. I just do not. My worst nightmare is like bothering people. I don't want yeah, people don't to go out. That, you know what yeah. I mean? I don't want to be a nuisance to somebody. Yeah, no matter how much you tell me that that's not the case. Yeah. yeah. It still feels it. It, it still feels it, it, it to me. Like, exactly I don't like. It. I don't like. Uh, I don't like any of that. Yeah, <clears throat> I just I like, like food. Being, just like steady stream of food. Yeah. So I have options and like just a laptop. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Yeah. Do, do, do you ever uh, build in like a weird connection to premium crackers? Because no, uh, when, when my stuff, yeah, I was never that more. guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's just like the fact that you know when when you get like food poisoning or really really sick where you can't eat anything, nothing will yeah. stay down. <laughs> And then, you know, you try all, you know, your regular food and then you're like, okay, now it is, it is just, it's going to be me and you premium crackers, right? Mm. Right. Water and premium crackers and you just slowly eat it. And that's somehow mercifully is the only thing that stays in your stomach. It works. Yes. Oh, <clears throat> it's, it's that, it's that, that, uh, that diet, the, 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 the rice, the white rice, banana, uh, white oh, cracker, premium cracker diet. When you have like really seems bad, seems like, like something the cracker company would make. Seems like, hey a, guys, uh, diet, uh, yeah, or a really, white rice, yeah, a really poor person, banana, yeah, yeah. Oh no, I'm on a and diet, our, and our product. It's not a diet. It's it's the fact that like you know if you have food poisoning, these are the, generally the food. Oh really? That will oh, stay I've in never heard system, of that. Or it yeah. makes sense for I mean, me. It's how, ginger ale. I don't know, and I don't know if that's a myth just because like I, I'm is, Pakistani. I feel and, like, like that's, that's a brown myth. Yeah, right. Yeah, try ginger ale; it'll settle your stomach. How bad could like premium crackers go? It's not like I have diarrhea from these dry ass crackers. See, that's the thing. It holds. It yeah. holds the, the It's just the like thing. it's going to come out like a like I went in. And, or like, uh, you, I yeah, enjoy, you, you poop dust? I love, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I love premium crackers. In and general? Then, uh, yeah, in general. But oh, like really? but like that, it's, that's it's really, so, that's like it a, served me so well during like the like French brown guy. It's like you're, you, that's where you make your dif- differentiators. Like I like <laughs> sauce in my pr- poutine. <laughs> Did you know I'm from Mauritius? So, uh, yeah, you just I just get like this weird thing of like, thank you, this one food mm. that will stay in my stomach so it won't let me die. Yeah. yeah, I will continue to digest you for the rest. I understand. <laughs> yeah, it's paying homage to it. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely it. We're looking good, man. Looking yeah. So good. congratulations. Oh, on, so, on yeah. So I did beat. I be. I ended up dropping uh, uh, twenty pounds in uh, an, an unhealthy amount of time, but it was just because I wanted to win, and all I did was a seventy five percent of eating. Nice. So it was very frustrating. So when you go out to eat, what was your thing? You would just order seventy five percent less, or you yeah, would... I would just. Or, it was yeah, it was just a, a portion thing. It wasn't That's anything really smart. healthier. Yeah. That's it wasn't as little anything. as you need to think about something. Yeah. If I was having dessert, maybe I wouldn't finish the dessert. I'd let. <laughs> the family this is have awesome some, he didn't you know? he didn't even change like his food he's just like <laughs> he i even stop eating hey, man, desserts. No, <clears throat> no like not being cocky though i think if i actually tried yeah i i mean i could be a problem classic man right, classic I, man yeah, thing to say I, yeah, yeah. if i tried bro <laughs> yeah <I'm, laughs> mr olympia probably <laughs> yeah probably give everybody nuzzer like it would the evil eye would be there would be an eye mm, above me bollywood would be knocking on your door yeah bro <laughs> right. i you know <laughs> sorry <laughs> But no, I'm I agree. Agree. So like, I you, agree. Are you going to hold on to this? Because No. So we actually did the first one. You in, said uh, no so quick. Because <laughs> it happened. <laughs> no, because it happened. Uh, so, uh, it, so we actually did the first challenge in November. November 1st, I weighed myself. I was at 251. Mm-hmm. And then me and my brother did it for November. And I went down to two... It was like 237 or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I was so happy. So me and my brother type were... If, if it comes easy to us, yeah. then we just think for the rest of our lives it can come yeah. easy. So I'll, I can start whenever. Right. That's classic. So then December was a wrap. Yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah. it was my birthday. It was a bunch of friends' birthdays. Mm-hmm. Did a trip to Montreal, and I love the food in Montreal. So, anyways, yeah. I then we're like, "Yo, New Year's, we're gonna try again." Yeah. Then January first, I was at two fifty three. Wow. Oh my so god. For January, you did your That's heavier. Very exactly. Impressive. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then uh, so then we weighed in um, uh, Super Bowl weekend, mm-hmm. and uh, I was down to two thirty two. Uh, I don't know what I'm at right now, but okay. Wow, yeah. you are yo-yoing. Yeah, I'm like yeah, Oprah. I'm like the brown do. Oprah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Oh, it's. I'm God. fairly sure it's very unhealthy, but uh, I don't know. How's he doing with this? He's just. He's just. He just. He needs an. Ex- he needs an excuse just to get he's young. He, he, he is. He's have twenty. Twenty seven. What's he doing? Yeah, I don't it should know. be easy for him. Yeah, he. Uh, he really he let himself go, <laughs> but uh, he's one of those guys that can get get into shape pretty quick. So yeah, I don't yeah, think like at that age. Yeah, I don't think he's like worried about it. I'm like, bro, as soon as you hit 30, like mm, it, you got to watch it. Things happen. Dude, it's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My body started falling apart. There. I started getting 
Heartburn? Like, what's heartburn? I have heartburn this week. Wait, you I guys have to, heartburn? Just well, yeah. But have you, I never have you ever had heartburn? Sick. I mean, alhamdulillah, not say mashallah. Geez, okay, mashallah. Yeah. So I remember. I, we I don't could, think about heartburn in the way you would that, think about heartburn. True, true, true. Heartburn sounds very aggressive. <laughs> your yeah. heart is burning. Like, no, it's just it's just acidity in your. It's just fiery burps, yeah. really. And I was yeah. like, what, "What is this?" And they're like oh, heartburn. I'm like, so I'm you old. burp, and then after you can feel the kind of burn just, over yeah, here. Yeah, that's exactly it. And I oh, didn't know. Boy. Yeah, I remember eating. I, I, like I was we're able telling to him eat. a horror story. He's like, "Oh boy." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I remember no. being able to eat, uh, you know, uh, 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 like whatever, uh, an extra large pizza to right. my face and then fall asleep. Mm -hmm. If well, I look a at a pizza man. now, right. I get heartburn. Dude, young man stuff. You could just like, I used to wake up in the morning and then go for a run without having breakfast or water. And I could run for miles and then come back home yeah. and then eat what I need to eat. Mm -hmm. And like no stretching, nothing. And now I'm like, if I need to go up the stairs really fast. The first three steps are like warm-up steps. Like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, all right. Like, it takes me a second. 100%. I get injured playing fat man softball, bro. Dude, I don't even play softball anymore. Yeah. I just go to the gym. And uh, jujitsu somehow is the only thing that doesn't injure me, which doesn't Which is surprising. Yeah. But like, Weird. if I go play basketball, I will injure myself one out of three times. It's yeah. not, I can't even help but dive. And you see me play, it's all effort. Yeah. There's no skill. It's just yeah. like... Straight up heart with you. Dude, like heart it. to the max. Heart's just falling out of me. The sweatiest guy there by far. Yeah, no one's going to work. There. I've been uninvited to like so many like get-togethers. They're like, hey, a few of the guys are talking and... They're just here for fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know yeah, the type exactly. Happens. Yeah, anyways, with that hey, said. what's going on with you guys? Hey. Chillin'. I heard you went to a wedding and there was yeah, a yeah, fucking Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, that happened. Yeah. He started that and we were like, hey, don't talk about that. Yeah, He's yeah, like, we no, but there was a lot of, no, you don't understand. Actually, can we, we talk, can you talk about it? You know, the, the, the story that reminded me was when you were talking about uh, the museum you went to and people were encouraged not to take photos because it would ruin some of the exhibits. And I just, because brown people are the worst. So they and were I went told, to a wedding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were told, don't take a picture of this lion. And I'm like, you know what? Let them tell the story. No, that's exactly what happened. Let them tell the story. Let them tell the story. These guys had a petting zoo at their that's, wedding. This is crazy. This which is, is bananas. And, I and, this and, and, it's yeah. like a one year old's birthday party. Right. What? Where there's a there's a baby kangaroo. Yeah. There's like a flying squirrel. There's right. a, a, a birds. And then the MC gets on the mic. And it's like, uh, we have a special treat for you. No no one thinks it's a special treat after. Right. No, I would, but... We need everyone to take your seats. Yeah. And please... Please grab no your kids. No photography. No photography. Also, by the way, the most astounding thing about the story is that... Where was this? Markham. There yeah, we go. Yeah. Fucking Markham. Indians? Freaking Markham. Indians? Yes. Yeah. So the doors open and there's two just fucking juice pigs on either side oh of this lioness. God. And they're walking her down the like she's walking down the aisle, <laughs> and they they so they're they're bringing her through um you know through the entrance way down wow. down to the dance floor to come to the stage because I guess it's gonna be like a fucking rap video where oh she sits God. by the groom, and then of course one friggin' uncle runs right up to the lion yeah and bang bang flash oh. and I swear to you the lioness was just like mm -hmm. yeah and oh. turned to look at my table yeah. <laughs> So I grab Zian at my kids. I grab yeah. Zian and the, yeah. and I bolt. I'm like, I'm not getting yeah. eaten today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yep. I dip. And as soon as that flash went off and the, the look happened, the two juice pigs jumped on the lioness mm -hmm. yeah. and basically wrapped her up and took her out. Yeah. yeah. I was like, we almost died at this, this stupid wedding. Also, How can you even think an uncle's not going to do that? Yeah, I know. They, they should they should have known their audience. Yeah, See, course. the thing is, is that I feel like it's, it's just the, the real problem here is that the lion had problems identifying the proper target. That's the real problem because if the lion, <laughs> okay. if the uncle took a picture okay. and then the lion jumped on the on the uncle, yeah, it's a story justice. for the ages. That's justice. Story for the like, I'll tell it forever. Yeah, he deserved to die. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not what? saying he, I'm not this saying he your deserves photogra just so you know yeah. you have a bias here yeah okay fair enough <laughs> it's like, oh that is whatever true whatever you're feeling is not how <laughs> that natural is people true. feel but if somebody gets if I tell somebody not to take a picture and they take a picture they should get eaten by a lion <laughs> yeah. he'd love that Pokemon that yeah. he would just throw out when somebody would get in a shot he's just like lion <laughs> but hey man it's like you know photo booth yeah that's true yeah. man uh, I'm blown know, away snack this, table this yeah. family's cool. like we'll have Petting a lion zoo? yeah Dude, what are you doing? But that's not even a petting zoo animal. That's a lion. I don't even think a can is a kangaroo other than Australia a petting zoo animal. Uh, I mean, flying squirrel. Uh, that's it's probably invasive. Yeah, I'm thinking rabbits. Right. Maybe a, a baby goat. A duck. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know. That's scraping the bottom of the. When you bring birds. Where you, where you, where you <laughs> find it in a park? It's, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, that's just a yeah, hostage. Yeah. You're just holding an animal. Yeah, no, that's a good point. It wasn't yeah. even a petting zoo. Yeah, just, no, but a lion is just. Yeah, that's just, dude. That's, that's a line cross. That's amazing. If, if there's an, any that. animal that can possibly. Uh, kill people i don't even know where to start my sentence it's just like yeah if it can kill a man for looking at it wrong yeah maybe not have it at an i'll Indian. never forget that look yeah man. it's just like the doors it's are locked. smelling meat and brown food oh my god right? i just yeah I, I it makes me uncomfortable to think about how close There's we kids came to around attacked. yeah that's the problem and the they're kids, easy prey the, easy the, the dude, kids are the problem i went to that jungle cat sanctuary and i went with my oh, niece oh i went there too dude it's great awesome shit and, i gotta go uh, the lion was uh tailing my niece as she was walking away she's just like walking like just rubbing his face on the fences while he was walking at her <laughs> yep he's just like and i was like well he wants to eat her yeah, yeah. there yeah. was uh we saw the uh the the Feeding time? Tig- yeah, feeding time. Oh, feeding for- that's the only time to go, yeah. right? Who cares otherwise? I've been three times already. Yeah, I know it's I amazing. Know. But this hey, one, man, uh, you gotta bring me <laughs> with uh, with Ziana too. She had a uh, she had uh, bubbles. Okay, and so it was blowing bubbles and obviously running around. But same thing, the tiger was just like tracking her. Yeah. And then when she kind of realized that what the tiger was doing, she, she thought it was cool because she's dumb. Right? Yeah, she's and like <laughs> the tiger did the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Turn around mm-hmm. and pissed on her, like hmm. threw piss at her. Whoa. And so it lands on Ziana's arm. I'm freaking out because she's, right. she's like, oh, no, it's just spit. I'm like, it's butt spit. Go yeah. fucking watch your arm. And then I was like, what? Ha- I talked to the lady. I'm like, what happened? And they. <laughs> what happened? Yeah. I think the lion. <laughs> I was like, the tiger <laughs> pissed on, on my daughter. daughter. Yeah. And uh, she's like, no, that's how they, uh, if they feel a little threatened, that's how they kind of mark their territory. Right. They, they butt piss like that. Yeah. It's it's weird. How do you know? It's is, not that piss? Is, it, is that a lion or is that a lion or tiger? It was, fully, it was regular piss. I just like saying <laughs> lion, tiger. tiger, tiger. Okay, it's weird that a tiger would have to be like. Well, you know, it's almost like the tiger is is working its way in its escalation scale, right? Because like for for a tiger, <laughs> I just don't know where this. I love <laughs> no, trying I love- to figure out where this is gonna go. <laughs> because like for for a tiger, it has like it's almost like the United States. Its arsenal is gigantic. Once again, Whoa. no idea where he's going again. <laughs> this is amazing. Keep going, <laughs> right? And like. You know, for 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 like a tiger who could easily eat your kid, right, right, with 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 a, a whole slew of weaponry, yeah, right. it decides that like this is a baby. Maybe the I will just pee. Like it's yeah. literally going. It's it's but doing like the, we'll start here, yeah, and then if if it escalates, then I'll use claws. If it escalates, I'll kill. I think so the it's like it started the jab. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. exactly. The, pee, the, the range finder. Finder. Yeah, like she needs to be thirty percent closer, and I can get my hand. Right. In there. So like, if anything, I mean, like, uh, well done, tiger. You know, because like the cops. How far does a tiger piss? Oh, Just man. so I so you know, know, you know how far to okay, stay. So you know where the ca- the cages were the uh, uh, where yeah. the animal cages yeah. and where the, the the human cage fences. Right. So that had to have been at least it's pretty 10, far, ten to fifteen feet. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It's got yeah. some range. Yeah. <laughs> if the tiger's fence is that wall, yeah, I would say this is the human. This. Thing is the Amen. human. Fence. It was more upsetting that my daughter didn't know to immediately just like go wash. Your That's arm. weird. Like just think like yeah, it's right. Piss. That I'm was like, all that stuff. That with had R. me Kelly. real worried yeah. for the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was no, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a lot of like, why didn't she move? <laughs> yeah, and then you're like, why are you blaming her? <laughs> the tiger should know better. <laughs> but then you're like, that tiger went tiger. Yep, it's a very good point. Oh all boy, how yeah. do we find ourselves here? <laughs> I think this always happens. I have to apologize. <laughs> no, but like that place is amazing. <clears throat> it's between, great. Between all the animals, it's great. Oh yeah, snow leopard. Yeah, the, uh, that that white snow lion is pretty lynx? dope too. I bet you uh, the lynx is okay, but it's a different. snow leopard okay. is such a heavier, denser like, yeah. and it uh, it almost gives you the impression that if you went super rich as a younger person you would buy that one? is about what you could handle because if mike tyson can handle like a tiger you're yeah. like i might be able to take on this is the biggest small animal i could probably have okay and it i would feel much better about having it have you guys heard the story of <clears throat> of mike tyson and how he came to buying yeah. two tigers i have it. not it's on the joe rogan podcast i'll post it up on the on the facebook thing and also on instagram it's it's well worth it the small little clip is freaking hilarious really how he how he comes to an idea of you can ruin the story it's yeah fine. it's easy it's i do want to hear this it, it's yeah. just, it's just, okay, i did start so, listening to that podcast but i found it almost uncomfortable oh like, me too i, yeah, I went okay. through the whole thing it actually gets better a, this used to be a horrible human being <clears> that we all like like he's hurt and raped some people along yeah, the way. Yeah. Right. And yeah. like 
when Joe would start talking, he's like, I don't know, I'm just such a different person. I barely ever rape anybody anymore. <laughs> That's not what he said. I mean, like, hey, look, we got to believe that some people can can somehow yeah. get better, right? Yeah, some, from some, like, yeah. From where he is. And he looks like he's trying to stay away from all violence. I'm like, if sure. you listen to the full podcast, yeah. like, he, he he doesn't even he doesn't even work out. This guy out. had a bird wrangler. Like, this guy had a pigeon yeah, like, yeah. fetish and, like, had a bird wrangler. And one day the guy did something wrong and Mike Tyson got really angry and punched him. Tyson punched him? Yeah, oh, in no. his prime. Oh, no. Like, punched a bird handler. And uh, I don't know what happened to him, but he wasn't okay. Yeah, I, 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 I'd assume that. Yeah. Jeez. But, uh, Look, I'm not saying tell that the, he's... Tell a, the tiger I'm not, story. I'm not saying that he's a great know, person. All I'm saying is that, like, it would seem on it? the podcast... I mean, I, I right. really okay. enjoyed it. I really enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so he's in jail, uh, actually, for, for the rape charge. He, so huh. he's in jail. And uh, now he's trying to think about, you know, offloading some some stuff that he has like he's got a couple cars and whatnot so he's talking to his car guy or he's talking to a guy who can get stuff Mm -hmm. and apparently the guy who can get stuff was getting horses right for some other dude he's like shit you can get horses because like in his mind he's like all the shit that i want to flex with is going to be like awesome cars and jewelry and stuff like that this guy's talking about horses he's like yo maybe i can get some animals Mm -hmm. right and he's like yeah we can get you you know we can get you what you want whatever you want and he's like maybe i can get like I can get some tigers. Can I get some tigers? And they're like, yeah, we can get you two kinds of tigers. What? He's like, tigers. okay. And he's making this deal while he's in prison. So by the time he got out of prison, he uh, they had two two cubs uh, for him and he raised both of them up. So wow. when I heard the story, I thought it would be like some sort oh. of crazy story. Yeah, of that's like, what I thought. And then I realized... He just told a guy who gets things to get him tigers. I thought the whole for sure story. it was a backroom gambling, yeah. like Russians Literally, were that's involved. What I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was like some guy owed him a bet and yeah. he couldn't get him twenty thousand dollars. He's he like, I'll get zoo. you yeah, a tiger. He worked at the zoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna steal you a cub yeah. of an endangered animal. Wow. True. <laughs> I mean, this is coming from a guy who's done cocaine when he was like eleven. Like he started to do hard drugs. He did LSD, acid, all that stuff when he was anywhere between between oh, before between fifteen, like nine and twelve. Yeah, be, yeah, nine and twelve. Like he was already pretty messed before he even started oh, well, boxing. And, yeah. Oh, God. Plus, his reality was completely warped. Sure. Yeah. You know, of like, course. That is a. That's that's that's. I mean, like uh, that guy is. Yeah, well, he's a unique. That's person. the whole thing. Where yeah. it's, it's so tough. Like you, you you're, you're even a product. Judge him? You're a product. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're a product of your environment, no matter what. And yeah, that's right. like even like like with kids and stuff. Oh, it's yeah. like I got to be so conscious of who they hang out with because mm-hmm. more than whatever I teach them, right? Mm-hmm. That's gonna be their it's their true. education. Yeah. You okay, know. So just, sorry. Oh, go ahead. No. I'm just okay. No. He was saying something interesting in the fact that like when Customato got a hold of him, who's his, you know very yeah. legendary trainer, uh, he said that Customato uh, like brainwashed him. They were, like uh, hypnotized him, so he was hypnotized in being a champ. He was hypnotized of being a world-ending uh, force. Like, like that's what Customato did. That's how he molded him into the fighter that he was. Is he's like it was hypnotic, mm-hmm. and that's how mm-hmm. that's how he like you know that was part of his training, and that that's what Customato was good at. Intense. So like, f- for him to like right now as he is right now, he, it's almost as if like that hypnotism is very close. Like you know, he can always access it. And as a result, he's constantly trying to avoid it. So he doesn't even, he doesn't hit heavy bags. He doesn't train, he doesn't train boxing at all. Like, oh, really? He, he doesn't do any, any, any combat stuff. He doesn't do any of that stuff. He doesn't do any competition. He barely even runs. Like he, he because he feels that if he does any of those things, he goes right into the darkness and he becomes mean and he becomes a horrible person and he becomes that. So he can almost fall into that hypnosis all the time. Wow. So you know, he stays away all the time you know and he's he, high all the time. You know who he hasn't talked to? Is a friggin' hypnotist about this. <laughs> I, like, I know he's saying all that. Yeah, I know yeah. you say, but I'm like, bullshit on all of this. You're not even trying to. I'd rather just not box something or yeah. exercise. Right, right, right. Because I'm going to. How about you just talk to a professional? No, no. He hasn't I'm not done saying, yeah. any of that. It's bad, it's bad coping. People me- adore this guy. Coping mechanisms. Dude, he's insane has been ins- if anybody followed Mike Tyson through his debauchery, yeah. this is not a cool guy. No. And now and he has a short temper to this day. <laughs> and it's adorable, apparently. Like it is adorable. He's made a comeback. Yeah. And like it's interesting. But like, this is a very checkered man. Yeah. That's what makes him so interesting. Uh, yeah, any checkered person, dude. I just yeah. saw the friggin' Ted Bundy tapes. Super interesting. Oh, I need to watch that. It's I on Netflix. Oh, it's fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that guy Really? Killed. Yeah, oh guys. Don't, 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 don't. I mean, oh, no yeah. spoilers. He killed people. <laughs> but it's, uh, no, it's, I won't ruin anything, but uh, I will say this. Super charming. Yeah, yeah good looking guy too, right? Just a normal, like, oh, how are you? Like, you wouldn't, he could talk you out of uh, things, you know? Like, yeah. 
crazy. Your life. Jeez. Anyways, that's cool, though. I like your tiger story. You brought us to Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. I, I, I saw um, someone at, uh, what is the... Um, the, the the towers the the TD Tower downtown um, Brookfield Place mm-hmm. uh, I remember having lunch there and someone actually brought a, a tiger cub Whoa. on a leash to like the food court that's so weird it's also very illegal is that legal I did not were they know Asian? this uh, they I, were not Asian yeah but I I like an Asian person I wouldn't would snitch do I mean I wouldn't snitch because I wanted to play with the tiger yeah, yeah, so yeah I got, yeah I got you're sitting here like <laughs> yeah yeah no no I, I went up and I I got like thumped by like a tiger paw wow. and yo at a cub that yeah. thing is heavy that's so cool. I can't hate I on I that. I can't imagine going. Like that. their paws are so big. Yeah, but it was just yeah. like clap, yeah. like a hard thud, and it's a baby. That's cool, man. Like, scared it at the jungle. You've been sanctuary. checked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna call my cousin the lioness in the future. You're gonna see. If you pay the extra hundred, they'll let you go play with the cubs at the jungle cat sanctuary for an uh, for about like half an hour to forty minutes. How much? Wait, 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 about wait. About a hundred or hundred twenty. Yeah. I'm down to throw that. This is real. Yeah, yeah. This is at the. This is not wheel. on the website or anything. You gotta ask him in the in the room. Mother of Mary and <laughs> like Joseph. Would, it's not on the I menu. Would, it's I would drop a hundred so quick. Yeah, I just, saw it. Like after the food, we were just there hanging out, and there was a family in a separate cage with two cubs mm-hmm. and i was like how and they were like you could just pay them extra i'm like oh i'm so I mad see i did this not on the know about this because like i've been watching tiger sanctuary videos yeah man because that's what you do on mm-hmm. youtube and it's like a big one in in australia and they were showing yeah. how they were uh they were introducing the tiger cubs mm. to the you just cut out here yeah he did yeah i cut out too do you want to check it that's weird how did you get to Tiger Sanctuary? Like, what rabbit hole did you start? Like, where, where did you start in that rabbit hole that you ended up at Tiger Sanctuary? Gang, 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 gang. I don't even know. Uh, I think. There we go. I think so. It's a little bit. A little bit. It's, it's little, not. It's a little. It's a little muffled, isn't it? I don't know if it's, it's loud I, I get. I get like echo. Yeah. Jeez, hold on a second. Two D. Well, we should just keep talking. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Do you want to switch headphones? Like, or no, no, no it's the no, mic. No, I mean, no, have you seen <laughs> Annihilation? <laughs> Is that the Natalie Portman one? Yeah. Yep. It's really, I just saw I, it. I really enjoyed it. I, she's also, uh, she's my number one. Really? Anything she does, I'll watch. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, lo- no, I love solid. her. Yeah, she's, she's gorgeous and she's smart and she's a great actress. She's like, got a great butt. Like she, Really? Oh, yeah. She did a, a workout wow. and like, it's very good. Back. We're back. We're back. All right. Good. Where do we pick up? Time I mean, Sanctuary. We should, but oh, I want to okay. hear more about Portman's butt. No. <laughs> what else is there to know? I mean. It's there. I know it's there because I saw a picture of a... Uh, her at the U.S. Open tennis and Jake Gyllenhaal uh, looking at it. <laughs> so it's got to be good. There's a picture of that, and <laughs> yeah. I thought it was really funny. I like Jake Gyllenhaal. Everybody's looking at you, dude. Stop it. <laughs> we did. Uh, we did this. Uh, what I thought was an anonymous, uh, like fun quiz at Christmas time at work one year. Oh, and it turns out the results were released. And uh, my answer to the question is, where would you spend Christmas above? Like, where yeah. would you above all else? Would right. you spend it? I said Natalie Portman's house. That's that's great. Yeah, now the entire government knows that's where I'd rather spend wow. my time than with my family. What are you looking up? Natalie Portman's butt, you pervert. I was <laughs> on I'm Natalie Portman, Jack Gyllenhaal, Jake Gyllenhaal, just to see if I could find the picture that you were talking about, but yeah, I didn't find right. anything. Yeah, <laughs> find all sorts of stuff that he bookmarked for later. <laughs> this guy, Jeez. Tiger Sanctuary. How'd yeah. you right, right, right. Anyway, so they were introducing the cubs to the to the big uh, to, to the big tigers because mm-hmm. they need to get along now. Uh, but there was a window separating them, and they were explaining how like tigers communicate this is like that chuffing sound yes right? mm. yeah? yeah 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 and so then i'm right there i'm like okay well let's we're gonna start start practicing chuffing so i'm gonna start practicing chuffing by the time we go to the cat sanctuary mm-hmm. my chuffing game is gonna be on point i feel like that would be like if you go to china yeah and you've practiced chinese words to say and just like you know china the tiger's gonna be like i i understand i see what it's you're trying you, to I do you're trying yeah, to yeah, do yeah, yeah. <laughs> But you're not a tiger. (laughs) And you're like... (laughs) (laughs) And you're like, I think it's working. I'm down to try. Yeah, I, yeah I, I'm I'm real upset. I didn't I didn't know about this, but that place does good work, man. I think so. They according to them, like you know. Have you been recently? I went uh, the last time I went was like last year. I well, got to see two uh, lynxes uh, try to do it. Oh, try right. to do it. Okay, because they don't know how to do it. Right? Did you know that? Yeah, I've heard. They have this. no idea. They tell the story. There, really? Yeah. yeah, they have like animals don't know how to just naturally have sex. I feel like that should be part of the whole uh, instinctual code thing. I know. Uh, no, they don't like. Imagine, right? You've never seen one. Yeah, that's true. Right? You know, you like this cat, yeah. <laughs> but you don't know like what to do with it. Right? right. 
if like people had never seen kissing, mm-hmm. you'd have an idea that that might be interesting, but also super strange. Yeah. Kissing? Yeah. Like sucking on someone's face? Yeah. I thought for the longest time that everything in the animal kingdom was rape. Yeah, I me didn't, too. I didn't think they could communicate. Yeah, I didn't yeah. think like, and but that's why like if you look into like deers and stuff, you're like, oh, this animal goes in like extreme heat. Yes. Where everybody needs to do this. And yeah. you're like, that makes sense Yeah, to a certain extent. The salmon stuff is the weirdest. Salmon. Yeah, it's like, oh, I, I was born there. After I was born, everything is downhill. But to die and give birth, I got to go all the way back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They that's go there and die. Yeah, and they, 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 they go give upstream, birth, they die. And then they die. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what salmon's the life cycle is. Being born in like fresh water up top and then going down and being salmoning. And then going <laughs> back up when you're old and ready to reproduce and die, die and then just have bears eat you. What? Yeah. yeah. That's why when you see those videos of grizzly bears not give two craps about humans. Yeah. That's this, only because bears are like, yeah, it's salmon. Why would I want nothing else even seems like food? Because they're just salmon coming uphill to die and they're like fully grown. This, there's a couple popular videos of this dude just recording. He's just bears. panning. It's like a, there's like a, there's, there's like a, 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 a river and uh, he's panning his camera slowly and you're just seeing bear, 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 yeah. bear, 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 everywhere. And then there's like a ruffling or like a rustling beside him and he pans <laughs> and right bear. beside yeah, like him. five feet away. Right beside him bear. is a big ass bear just Oof. sitting on his butt. Couldn't care less about you. <laughs> really? Yeah. But like, yeah, the procreation thing so much. Is, it's My very interesting God. how deers, cats, but yeah, the I got to see two lynxes where like the male was biting the the back of the female's neck, but his rear quarters were like nowhere near where they should be. Like his He's hitting air. He was hitting above where he should. And it seems like you would think that's totally should be right here, but it was nowhere near where it should be. And she, the lady told me that was uh taking us through the tour that like it's gonna take him one more season. Oh, no. Yeah. Can you imagine being the girl? Like, just getting your neck bit and just being like... And yeah. also, you know, like, wanting to have sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then having and this And it's not asshole. like someone's going to show you that. Well, no. Why one season? Because, wow. like, no one no one feels hot. Apparently, it takes them two seasons. I don't know. The first season is just, like, the neck biting. I Can you imagine? Know. It's just, like, one stud. It's like, yeah, first season, first just, season, like, gang. up in. Yeah, <laughs> like, that, Otherwise, you're just sitting with, like, that, old that, school... That, he develops a mane very quickly yeah. compared to the other ones. Oh he has a gold God. chain on for some reason. <laughs> Blue yeah. balls for a year. Dude, oh, it's horrible. Boy. But, yeah, My that place uh, seems to do cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's that, uh, There's that. I think, the, like, uh, is it albino lion? I don't know. He's, he's, he has to be kept separate. Oh, I didn't see him. Yeah, he was really cool, man. But Dang. he has to be kept separate because he's... The other uh, the other animals they're not don't, taken to him and they don't like cage. albinos. I don't know what it is, but he's got to be kept separate. I wonder if like albinos would be ostracized in like all animal kingdoms. Yeah, it's just, I, uh, I you think have anybody, different. You I have think anybody different? Yeah, no yeah. C- camouflage whatsoever. Yeah, who wants to hunt with a freaking pine cone? True. I mean uh, a pylon. <laughs> yeah, 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 I yeah. like that even you're better. Risking. With a pine cone, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, deep. <laughs> yeah, you're risking my life. I no, get like it. any a deer. You're like, hey, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> like, what albino are you deer would be scary as yeah. F. Also very easy to shoot. <laughs> They're not brown. True. That's true. If you, that's what you want. Yeah. I'm I su- guess I'd want one. I don't know. Like would you hunt would you hunt an albino? Well, it doesn't seem like it'd be good. Like what if you what if you it's hunt an albino deer? It. Yeah, something ate it, salty. And then your kids turn into <laughs> albino. Super salty. <laughs> What? You know how pissed off I'd be? <laughs> you think that's how albinos are made? <laughs> I see an albino person like, hey, you eat an albino at some point? Because you're a kid. I can see you see it in like biology classes. Like, yeah, it seems a witch. Sir, <laughs> By the way. Sir, I have a question. How did this happen? Yeah. I ate an albino deer four years ago. That's horrible. Albino snakes, all of that is very interesting. Mutations are super. Like I, I had a kid in my school with an extra finger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it was like an extra fully formed finger. Like it would just look like that. So yeah. he should be that like an extra pinky. So he should play the flute. I don't know if that's how flutes work or fingers, my friend, but maybe. I mean, like I would try things. Yeah, 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 yeah. You might have like a or like if you're a pianist, just just, just entering like slap what? competitions. If you're a pianist, if you're a pianist, yeah, yeah. not if the you extra have two pianists. I don't <laughs> no, know that why. sounds like I don't. You should definitely play the flute. <laughs> yeah. See how it makes no sense, but it's really funny. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my well, nephew you... has seven toes. <laughs> Good. He does. He has two extra pinkies. seven. Yeah, he was born wow. with two extra pinkies on his uh, on his right foot. Which one at the end? Yeah, yeah. You don't get two big ones at the beginning. So they don't, no, yeah, that would be crazy. You don't just cut them off? What's that? They don't just cut them off? They had to wait until he was old enough to do surgery. Mm-hmm. But uh, 
Yeah, I, I'm not sure if they're gone now. I mean, if shoes fit properly, then what do you care, right? But would they, though? No, I don't think so. You know, it would suck if like he got like gifts, like those individual toe like socks and stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah it would suck. Well, that'd be a this very is such a specific that's the reason it'd be like from an asshole like from a bad person he's yeah. like hey i'm gonna make you feel super yeah. different right now i'm gonna get you the one Here's thing five you five finger have. vibrant shoe right <laughs> oh wait you can't have it i guess i'll use it myself yeah jeez man it'd be cool if he could be like the like that would be his like superhero thing just like aeon flux like i'd be like i love it if it was like pakistan where because like if somebody is like blind sometimes i get you like somebody else who's blind to marry like you guys are both you know, like they like to do that. Right. Kind of, but that's such a problem. Now both yeah. of you can't like see. Like some little people's like, oh, this is another little person. Now both of you can't read yeah, yeah, like yeah. the links is like <laughs> So but I think it would work really well in this situation. Uh, it's like, oh, you got six toes, this one has seven toes, and then like kids like an octopus or something. On a way lesser scale. When I first yeah. moved to Brampton, uh, I was the only brown kid in my uh, elementary school. Wow, well, that must have been a long time brown ago. boy, and there okay. was a. Were you the first one, brown kid? <laughs> there, there was a there was and there was a brown girl named Simi, and they did they had this thing yeah, where they would like totally. force you to like marry each other. Right. Yeah. So I had like yeah. these dudes chase me down on the playground, yeah. beat me up, and make me propose. Right. To I had Simi, that with a girl she named was, Anita. Like, wow. My wife for the yeah, year. She was the only yeah. brown girl in my class, and yeah. they were like, "You and Anita are going out." Yeah. Was, and Anita was fine with it. <laughs> she was like we're going out and i'm like no like i don't even know you anita she's just been waiting yeah, yeah she's been waiting for that yeah. one brown this guy my yeah. you know? my brown prince charming like some of those are noah's noah's ark situation and now wow. there's no white people in rampton none yeah, See, if there's a one white guy if there's one light-skinned girl like that's how yeah, that's, yeah. dude now you know how it feels <laughs> she's on the other foot it's very weird bullying I don't think it's yeah. bullying. It's just trying to make sense of a situation. No, I think it is bullying. Yeah, why? Because it wasn't for, wasn't, for, wasn't for my pleasure. What was I getting out of it? It was <laughs> like to bring, them, to bring them joy. Yeah, Dinu or whatever her name was. Simi, yeah. Simi, Simi Gill. Simi my first Gale. wife. <laughs> Your first wife. I remember when I got Shout married to, to Maria. When I got, um, when I got married to my current wife, she was, uh, <laughs> she was asking about you know my past and stuff i'm like yeah. i've been married before <laughs> you right. know my first wife was simi go wasn't by choice yeah yeah that's how it happened in my forced family. marriage forced, yeah. forced arranged Jeez, yeah. man we used to do that with uh the horriblest thing we used to do was when i went uh we got like i, I went to a super ghetto school and then a very nice school yeah and when i got to the nice school they did that with the two gay guys in my class and later i realized like very because these two kids were the only kids who had the courage to come out and they just married them for funsies. <laughs> and they made them like gay homecoming kings. And these guys just wanted to be like left the F alone. Right. But they were like trying to be inclusive. And they were like making them like, you guys are both homecoming kings. And like, yeah. we don't like each other. That's not how gay works. Yeah. yeah. Like, we know you want this. <laughs> yeah. We're like, yeah. we know what you want. Yeah. No, ours was different. Ours was like, we got beat up and then forced to propose. No, I didn't have that that yeah. much. I just got bullied into it. But my problem was just embarrassing because she wanted to. She was like, oh, yeah, 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 and I yeah. was just like... So now he's like, do you not but want like, to be yo, a provider? Wait, wait, on a scale like 1 to 10, though, Anita, uh, at that time. At that age, uh, I would say a 6, because she uh, was alive. I yeah, I, I don't know. It, like, she's like, you know, it's just somehow it's... I have no idea what to say anymore. No, I don't I want anyone to have this conversation. I I do you have a, do you have a yearbook it. we can look at? We had you on for sports, damn it. So far, we've talked about <laughs> Sorry, tigers man, I, and I way too much depth than expected. <laughs> and then uh i need are it. you guys watching this ufc card are you guys doing a thing again like um dude we i mean you know what i mean we just we were i, mean, I think we should have met for the ufc card that just happened yesterday yesterday maybe and so we didn't do that but that being said i mean we can talk a little bit about it there's uh, only like one storyline to talk about what there's line? nothing else to talk about israel adesanya yeah thanks the last <laughs> the last style, style bender yeah uh, versus uh versus uh the spider did you, Silva. The, did you guys watch the the weigh in? Yeah, yeah. And they both got emotional. That that was yeah, that was that, weird. Like, that, that was that interesting. Got to me. Yeah, yeah that was, was like, interesting for me. Very to watch interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I thought this is now it for mm -hmm. Anderson. But they're talking like this morning. I was reading that they're talking about his his next fight, who he wants next, or who wants him next. And he didn't get blown out. He didn't. No, you're 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 right. You no, know? and he you're and right. uh, and uh, you know Israel is a very good fighter. So yeah. I mean, like you were saying that it was lambs to the slaughter. I think is if anybody's stock dropped, it's Israel's stock in this fight. Yeah. I feel like this guy put could have and should have put Anderson out, and it, even while watching it, it seems evident that mm -hmm. he should have put he, him out. It did seem like he was holding back a bit. I don't know Dude, if that is is uh, Anderson facing movement. your hero or if yeah. that's do you know it's like, not a, a good showing. No, like, I agree. In my head, it's not a good look. Definitely not a good look. I went into this horrified that they put Anderson against a young hungry lion. 
Yeah. But he he had a fight that showed a lot of hesitation to me. Or I'm like, your stock, if anything, has gone down because I feel like a lot lesser fighter would put out Anderson Silva at this point. Yeah. And it's not like Anderson was... I feel like Anderson had a good fight. He yeah. had decent, decent head movement. Yeah. But I'm like, no, Anderson did what Anderson should be doing. And if you're a contender, I can't believe that you carried this guy for three rounds. Yeah. I, that's how I felt about it. But I, I watched it uh, twice. Okay. I enjoyed it. Yeah. But I, I thought, I'm like... Is Israel should be a lot better than this. Yeah, yeah. especially with all with all the hype and like his, his yeah, highlight man. reel is so nuts. It is. It sucks that Whitaker injury happened. It would have been. Hey, yeah. Would've what been happened? Fun I woke up this morning to Gastelum having the belt. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah, that was weird. Is that? But is that a thing? Like, is he the champ? Just because there's no show. I think they I have know. to give it to somebody. Yeah. Because <laughs> he made weight I, and he showed up. Man, I, I hate guess. these belts. Yeah, it's it's actually uh, it made so oh. much. As the more I watch the sport, the less I care about a belt. I yeah. uh, at some point it didn't matter, and now it doesn't matter to me at all. It, do, it really doesn't. Yeah, all this interim stuff. Like I, oh, oh, yeah, oh all it God. is is who you fought. Mm-hmm. Like who's your what's 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 your your CV? What's your record? What's yeah. your fight record? Yeah, how many people you fought? What's what's cool about the belt is just that you if they can get it to the point where you're 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 protecting you're defending the belt on multiple times, right? That's yeah. cool. Then that's cool. That's I think that's that's the the only it, utility that a belt gives. But it you. also messes up the the reason for the <clears throat> belt is now because like if you're collecting two, yeah, there is nobody that's fought for a belt in your division for a year and a half to two years. That's crazy. Yeah. Which that's the point of the belt is so you can kind of say like this is the best, but like. It's more exciting when people have two, but honestly... I'm getting tired it's so of two. D- it's so dumb. It's I'm, so, I'm tired you, of you, two. You know what? The, uh, here's the perfect way to put how stupid this is. <coughs> Jones has won the belt mm-hmm. like four times and lost at zero. Right. This yeah. is how, That's how stupid this that's, thing is. That, that is pretty dumb. Four or three, three or four times. But that's whatever how you it is. sell it. That's how you sell it. Like uh, that's like, that extra shine on it. I, I you get sell it, it to the yeah. media that way, so people can see it's like a double. double. Also, the new belt is ugly as shit. I don't think. Oh, that, is does it? that matter to you? Was that? I mean, it, it, you Did know you what? Did you know what it looked like before? Is the question? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, because I had no so. idea really what the UFC belt looked like beforehand. Right. And I felt like they literally changed it because they got bored. Because they're like, this will create some story. Yeah. And then there was a new belt and it sucked and I'm like that created a story. <laughs> well, I, I couldn't tell you what it looks like. No, yeah, I mean, not really. No. All right. I, know the I don't WWE know why. I don't know why I noticed I it so UFC much belt. and it was like it was bothering me. It was really bad. Yeah, because it's it's not good. It does not look good at all. If anything, the older belt looked a little special with regards to UFC versus like you know oh, WWE this. like wrestling belts mm-hmm. right. versus boxing belts. The UFC mm-hmm. belt looked kind of nice it looked uh, like yeah. it, on its own boxing horrible. belts were the yeah. worst Weird. but if you yeah, look like, at the new one if you just look at the new one versus the old one now yeah. it's it's pretty disappointing i love you man thanks man yeah appreciate it you're like you care about fashion in any <laughs> form you're like this belt <laughs> doesn't go with everything <laughs> it's it is, a problem it though. is pretty bad it is yeah 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 man if you, you have a look at it you'll uh you'll agree i know no, more, sure. i know i was saying i know more about the wwe belt than i do about the ufc belt right oh that is bad is it let me see it's like real bad man there's the new one and the old one yeah they're both i like the old one yeah, oh, yeah 100%. there you go yeah, yeah. yeah the old one is better but i think the i think that is like because it looks like a wwe belt the old one looks like yeah that's what we all think about when we think championships anyways right it's, it's true man Who i went to a boxing? wwe show last night Wow. Yeah, wow. I'm almost forty. <laughs> Sorry, that's a side story. So happy. No. Yeah, I, it was Why'd honestly. You, yeah, I, tell me more. Do you wear a? Do you Who was there? Hold a sign? Uh, so I took uh, my kids and uh, my no, which wrestlers? Oh, um, <laughs> do we you don't f- care. You <laughs> <went>. <laughs> <laughs> Nabil was there. Do you, uh, do you follow wrestling? I, I would think I would. I can take out a name or two. Okay, so there was uh, the main event was Braun Strowman. Oh no. Okay, so you got nothing. nothing. Uh, like, sounds like a vacuum. Braun Strowman against. Baron Corbin was the main event. Wow, then why are was, they named uh, that way? Because I think those are their real names. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, the co-main was a tag team championship with, uh, do you remember Ravishing Rick Rude? Yeah, Not I him. totally do. Not oh, him. okay. His kid. Huh. Yeah. 
Well, you know, when you're you're married to that rude life, there was no uh, yeah. I, I, have could, no I don't think there's anybody life. you would recognize. But I, I, anyways, we did Always, it for the kids. But I actually yeah. ended up having a good time, man. Of course, it's yeah, for it was you. like nostalgic. It was. I don't, I don't know, even was... know if I would take a kid. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. They're they, just pretending. They, they had a blast too, so it was good. I remember, like back in the day, like it was everything. WWE was, was everything. Yeah, I'd people... be staying up late for that Saturday night main event. You mm-hmm. know, you get to maybe catch a glimmer of like Andre the Giant or Hulk Hogan. Huge. The parents beat the shit out of you because they think you're like watching porn. The rinse repeat the next week like right. oh man there's some uh, those guys were the biggest celebrities in when i was like they were as big of a celebrity as any athlete in a whole yeah, oh yeah, yeah. under the giant oh, 100%, undertaker 100 dude are you they were unbe- they were your heroes as a kid. yeah, 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 yeah. Heroes. plus also they were like made to be larger than life like undertaker always seemed seven foot tall right and never talked yeah yeah, yeah. God, like that'll make you pay attention yeah is that is that when you were like super yeah. into yeah i i stopped around uh and hulk I, went evil no, no, I remember. Uh, I I got back into it like when the Rock and Stone Cold stuff was going on. That's when it had. A, I feel like had a resurgence. But then after, yeah, after that, I I, I didn't pay attention at all, and I only got brought into it because like the the kids love it, and so I can't watch it anymore. Of course, yeah. I in fact, when a grown up is super into one of your friends mm-hmm. um, that I met was super into it. Who's this? I uh, don't know. He's a big guy, like okay. huge. Okay, and he went to Royal Rumble. Uh, the previous year or oh something. really and he was talking to me about it like as enthused like you were about an actual sporting oh, event oh yeah, yeah and it was so interesting because like i took everything in me not to make him feel different <laughs> right right because right. in my head this is somebody like revealing you know like like you know they're like intellectually challenged <laughs> while speaking with you but you have to appreciate somebody's passion for something. I definitely knowing, do. Knowing yeah. that that's I mean, the if stigma. They're, if they're pretending that this is real, mm-hmm. nah, I'm totally with you. No, I understand. But appreciating it like it's a TV show, yeah. I'm 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 good with that. I get it. Yeah. I get all of it, yeah. but like it's you nothing just personally I would say, had a problem. But in my head, yeah. I'm like, you know, when you're talking to like a crazy person at the stop sign. <laughs> And then you start realizing they're insane, but now you're right, just right, in a right. conversation, nodding at Now you're yeah. stuck. Yeah, because there's yeah. nothing you're going to add to this thing. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah? <laughs> there's nothing you say after right, that. Right, 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 right. You do? You like it? And then he's talking, and then you're like, okay. And then you're like, shit. Yeah. Right? So yeah, okay. that's how I look at those people. Makes sense. I can't really be friends with anybody who's that much in the WWE. But I like a good story about, like, I went and, like. Right, we were rednecks there. You should go once. I'd love to go. Yeah, this I'd was my first one, story. and it was it was it was a good time. Did you do anything dangerous? I'll never do it again. Like somebody jumped off the top and like. Uh, there was uh tables. A couple guys went through tables. Dang, we're still doing that. Uh, the final uh the final fight that Braun Strowman fight was um, uh, dubbed an Oshawa street fight. Oh, so they were allowed to use like weapons. So nice. So that was fun. I love the cage matches. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You ever watch a Royal Rumble where you the the way the you cage descends onto the ring. That's yeah. one of the ones, and you yeah. have to like climb for a belt or something. There's a ladder like randomly oh, yeah. placed called? in there. Hell in a cell. Hell in a cell. Yeah. Uh-huh. But my favorites were the Royal Rumbles, where like you're, they're gonna start off with four every like two to five minutes. They're gonna yeah. play the entrance music for a guy, mm-hmm. and you know who it is, and they will run in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the only way you lose is if somebody throws you out. Uh-huh. And there are always one or two guys in there. That it's gonna take like a team effort to throw out because you're like Yoko Zuna yeah, or yeah. Bam Bam Bigelow or some shit, or you're yeah. like 300, 400 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you're gonna need two to three guys to like, and then you're just holding the, 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 the like the, the ropes. Those are the most fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And nobody needs to explain anything to anybody. It's just like, yeah, music comes on, someone's gonna run in, yeah. and you win by tossing out the biggest yeah, yeah. fool. Those are how do you shit never, on that? Never did wrestling. Never. No way. Eh? Never. Never got. I like. Uh, never. I. I think never even got the opportunity to get into it. Too Muslim. Never given yeah, the opportunity. Yeah, oh yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Parents wouldn't, wouldn't let me watch it. Yeah. It's haram. I could. I could see like, like haram is just because they're not wearing shirts and stuff. I don't know. It was yeah. just. It was just like I also I knew from a very very young age that it was fake. Like it was never a point in my lifetime where I ever thought that wrestling was was real. Really, even like my youngest recollection of wrestling has always been like, oh, it's a, it's a show. Like it's not a thing. <gasps> my world That's shattered when I found out. Yeah, it so I I always knew that, and I don't think that I ever got I was I was ever attracted to it in the mm. same way that I was never attracted to uh, Simpsons. Although like most most I was like, gonna say girls with makeup. Like I could tell, <laughs> That's her lips aren't that red. <laughs> Sorry, but but like you know, back then I don't know if you remember, like in, in Friday prayers, the imam would be like, "And Simpsons, don't let your kids watch Simpsons yeah. because you're gonna you're gonna raise 
like hellish yeah, kids that are not going to listen to their yeah. parents and things like that. It was a huge thing. There was a lot of people talking about Simpsons. They, almost <laughs> as much as like speakers now really like talking about Takashi Six Nine, the rapper with the rainbow hair. He's he's bringing you into the path of darkness. They talk about that. I heard that at a at a football once. Yeah, twice. There are so many uh, YouTube videos about Takashi Six Nine and and his his uh, adverse effect on the youth of today. But anyway, um, and so it's like imams overreacting imams to something they've never seen before. Imams are real right now. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Jeez. Um, how do I talk their language? Have yeah, you heard yeah, yeah. about Takashi 6 oh Um But uh, them saying that it was bad didn't make me want to, like, I didn't didn't make me seek it, seek it out either, All which right. was which was an odd yeah. thing. For Whereas, me, like, because nothing, like now, nothing my parents said was bad made me seek it out. Yeah. I, like, I'm sure other kids do, but you like. You know what's weird, though? What? Sorry, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. No. no, no, tell me, give me the, the thing that, like, your parents are like, this is bad, and you're like, I gotta watch these cars race, dad. I don't care yeah, what you I'm said. I'm trying to figure out what you were into as a kid. Uh, music. I was in. I was very much into music, but my parents. But that wasn't my, frowned upon by your by your folks. Oh, a hundred percent. Oh, and so you sneaking in music at night. Okay, no, dude. Let he's me in the hold bathroom. On a second. Hold like, on is second. he drinking off? He's like, <laughs> just listen to Aqua. So, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> 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 you were yeah okay wait hold on a second barbie knee deep in that <laughs> barbie girl life um okay so the way how this started off was uh i was never into music my parents bought me a walkman this is more my dad my mom didn't have what? a didn't they have a feeling a about about uh about um music. about music but uh yeah so my dad bought me uh or my parents bought me a walkman for the express purpose to listen to Quran, Quran recitation. Yeah. And so because back then what my dad would do is that he would he would drive me from here all the way to Burlington. There was a there was an imam there that he liked his rec- recitation. Nice. I would sit one on one with him with a with a big Sanyo boombox, mm-hmm. right? And we'd press record yep. onto a cassette and then I would have a class with him where he would excuse me you know, we would we would practice recitation. We would do some like you know, we would read, and then after one hour, we would go home. Then they would take that cassette, put it in the Walkman, and then listen to myself and him, and try to like mimic his tajweed and pronunciations and stuff like this, right? So it was a big whole process on, wow. on how to on how to read properly. That's amazing. Which uh, I will say worked in my favor because I can my pronunciation is is rather rather good okay. now. But the thing is, is that like, obviously as a kid, like I can't, not only am I doing this like twice a week or once a week, but also now I had to listen to myself and the imam again. Like you just want to break, right? So for sure. Um, And then I started, I saw like, you know, the Walkman had, had a radio. So I knew, I knew all about AM because my dad listened to talk radio all the time. Right, right, right. But I'm like, what's with this FM situation? So I go to FM and start scrolling through. I'm like, yo, music. Yeah. Right. And that's how I started listening to music, the, the very beginning, you know, when I was very young. So I listened to like essentially top 40, type, that type mm-hmm. of stuff. And then, uh, and, and then I was trying to figure out how to listen to the songs that I liked over and over again. And that was a whole process as well. And then I would then steal, my dad back then, what he would do is that he would, everywhere he would go, he would get the cassette of the lecture or the the, the, the sermon or everything. And then he would record. He had Bootleg speed it. recorders. Yeah. He had speed re- speed cassette recorders. That right. you would like click it into the thing and you go and it like, like high speed dub it's it. like a, yeah. a right? cdw for the 80s right you know it's like um and so my dad used to have like boxes of 12 set maxell uh blank cassettes so then i would i would oh steal those God. cassettes i would steal those cassettes Dang and i would give it to various friends and what they would do is that you know because back then for you to be able to listen to, to get music you would have to like wait until the song came on the radio and then press record yep. mm-hmm. and so they would i would give it to like two or three of my friends and they would just like record a lot of top 40 music and then they would give it back to me i would take the label and i would just write quran on it like i would write (laughs) and so like i had cassettes that said that i had different like quran recitation but it was just all music and then and then came uh and then came you know when you have a little bit of money and that's when i bought uh uh, what's it called uh ace of bass yep uh i bought uh and then later on way down the road uh, i bought aqua right who didn't Um, yeah, and then uh, you know when CDs started to come out, I had this rich friend. Uh, he would get the CDs. I would I would get it copied onto a cassette. So that was uh, my first rap album I ever had was uh, Chronic Two Thousand One by Dr. Dre. Your first ever, yeah. yeah. That's what I wanted to have. Jeez. Yeah, uh, because up until that point, I went to a school predominantly white, and no one listened to rap back then because rap was still considered like something that 
was really you're urban. A goon. Yeah, ex- yeah, 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 you're a goon. Yeah. yeah, it was it was not something. So you know, you listen to a lot of dance and pop and things like that. And so you know, uh, I, that's all I grew up on. And then when I went to junior high, there was more black kids there, and that's where rap started to like get into into my taste. Mm-hmm. And so that's how I got it. But what I would do is that there would be times where I would have to like sit. I remember sitting on those stairs there when I was a kid. You know, the light is nice, so you can read Quran. And I'm reading Quran, but I'm actually listening to Dre. Yo. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't even do that. I, there was no way I'd be able to focus. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> there's no way. This is funny. He's like, there's no way I'd be able to focus. But Dre in my ear? Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that was the thing. I, I, no matter how much my dad did not like me listening to music, because, I, you know, you, you're going to get caught eventually, right? He put, he put the cassette in and he would listen to me. He would, uh, the one cassette Let's that see he, see how your progress is. <laughs> the one cassette that he heard was just the theme song to Mortal Kombat. Oh, uh, that was a good one. That was so a good funny. one. I can't imagine what was going through his head at that very, like, <laughs> it's like oh i ruined my son <laughs> right and then like that was rock music for him yeah right? Of right it was like rock music which was even worse yeah. right and so like you know i got a talking to and things like that but the more it was like uh, you know don't listen to this the more i like leaned into it so i listened to so much music on the down low like that um see that's that's a prime example yeah. of like your parents pushing yeah. this agenda on you yeah like with reverse psychology they don't even realize it and they're like oh man yeah yeah that's a good point they made you listen to dre while pretending to read the quran <laughs> like that is amazing that is <laughs> yeah that's how i got into stand-up comedy as well because uh because we would... they said no uh, no how, no, what, no what was their problem with stand-up actually kidding. you know what that, that's not the same thing i guess what i mean to say is that that walkman was my my entryway into okay. that as well because like going to, to other Tarawi, audio go, yeah things. going to the, yeah. going to <laughs> so going to Tarawi, um you would you would on the way there i'd have my headphones on because you know you don't want to do anything else you just listen to music or listen to quran on your way to hear more quran and then uh on your way back it's at nighttime mm-hmm. and you listen to 104 and 104.5 at nighttime they would have one hour of uh, the sunday night uh funnies yeah. oh so you, really so i would li- i listen to one hour of like them clipping uh yeah. stand up which yeah, yeah. was great and then after that was radio theater mm. so like you would it, What's the, radio theater like plays uh yeah like audio audio audio, audio tv shows yeah 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 oh, so man. like CBC so it still like, does that yeah so it's like, like a military drama on the radio yeah 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 so like you know that or like you know world uh war of the world but that's like yeah, that's old school yes yeah, wow. but some of the stuff some of the stuff they would they, they still would do the same stuff, thing yeah. on the radio like radio hasn't changed that much yeah and is so that crazy? i would that listen is to crazy that. and then that's where that's where i got into stand-up so then every sunday even if it wasn't ramadan i was going to sleep yeah. early uh, well i mean like by sleep by 10 all right and so then just be in bed. and then just wait and listen to stand-up and yeah. then just like try not to laugh yeah. too loud and you can't judge any of this because yesterday you were at a WWE show. Right? Like this is all any future opinion right? you have <laughs> like, is yeah, yeah, yeah. some time machine stuff happening right now. That I is bananas. Yeah. They do have a, 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 a station dedicated to stand up. Stand up, yeah. It's Funny like, eight twenty. They uh, yeah, yeah. I like to Shazam. Like I like to uh, because they like to do this thing where they like play a, a minute and a half or three minutes of a joke. Yeah. And then be like Jim Gaffigan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Be in the car with where I'm like. Norm McDonald. Norm McDonald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do <laughs> that too. We try to guess for funsies. Yeah, I do uh, that as well. Comedy nerd shit. Anyways, Fun times, man. Good stuff, man. I didn't realize. Uh, I was trying to think the whole time of something my parents pushed me towards by telling me I couldn't do it. And I just didn't have it because they were working two jobs the whole time and couldn't watch me. So it was like I was gonna watch what I wanted to yeah, watch yeah, yeah. or be out and do what I want to do. What was the big one though that they that they were like no they didn't like uh he was married with children you know what the weird thing is yeah, this is weird me watching that married with children i didn't have an interest in but i knew that it was like yeah, this is edgy because this like, guy's yeah. hand is in his pants yeah, yeah. yeah but uh i think i shattered my parents uh dreams one day because um they went out i was watching uh like a movie on cinemax then i went to bed and then they came home. Yeah. And you don't know this, but Cinemax mm-hmm. switches to um, light porn. Hard, yeah, light core porn mm-hmm. at certain point. Okay. And what that means is you left the TV on. No, they just turned the on TV channel, on. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, because okay. I don't change the channel. Because yeah, yeah. to me, I'm just you, got, watching. you learn that later on in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I'm watching the last action hero with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right, right. right. I turn it off. I leave while I'm sleeping. I hear. Yeah, <laughs> like just yelling, you know? 
And because it was like just sex without right. the insertion part. Right, right, right. And I knew immediately because I had become aware that that does happen yeah. at a certain time of the yeah, day. Yeah. Right. But my parents never go up the channel numbers that much. And uh, last action yeah. here becomes like last. And the hard part was yeah, <laughs> the la- the hard part was ex- like trying to explain to my mom that that's not what I was watching when I went to bed. Yeah. Right, right, right. Because she knows that. I was watching this channel when I went to bed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? You know? Yeah. So it was like impossible for me to explain. From then on out, you always put it to like, why TV? I always uh, went to TSN. That yeah, was the default. At that point, I just, even now, it's just like, when I when I close my laptop, it's on ESPN. Yeah. Just in case. I think <laughs> just in case. from that day onward, it's like, <laughs> I don't know what people might think. Uh, so going going back to the classics. I'm from the era where you tried to you tried to watch through this scramble like yeah man and then you get like a, you get a blips of like you get a, a blip a boob of something and, it's like, yes. and your brain will even make it more of whatever that that boob would last me like, yeah it'll fill in the blank your brain yeah, will yeah. like capture that I like a squirrel an entire, in the winter <laughs> I could create an entire scene off that oh one yeah, yeah yeah you're like I got the whole story yeah yeah <laughs> yeah dude I can I can direct this from here yeah, on then out then TSN power off ben. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like sometimes you see something that wasn't even there. It's just be like it's snowing okay. and then yeah. just like you hear like a weird noise and you're like, I think I know what happened. <laughs> I think I know what happened to snowstorm. Somebody needed shelter. Wow. Yeah. Maybe that was a channel. You were, did you have that channel? Uh, you no. stare at it for one hour. You get maybe 0.7 seconds of like pornography. I never really. But you stitch it together in your head. I never, I never, I never thought, I never knew that you could wait there long enough to see something. Like I always thought it was just snow. It was, yeah, I would come into focus. Maybe yeah. you are staring at snow, but like I didn't have snow. I, mean, I could tell that it was just this is something's happening. I don't think I ever accurate. stayed on any channel that had snow for longer than me being like, oh, did this you not is hear snow? from other kids that there's a snowy channel no. that moans every now and then <laughs> just for half a second? <laughs> no, no, no. I knew that uh, city TV at night got got raunchy. That's right. I only found a, this house when I came to Canada. There was yeah. like the the talking dog. Uh, what? Not the talking oh, Ed dog. The sock. Ed, the, Ed the sock. Ed the sock. Yeah, Wait, no, but they had movies. They, had, no, uh, they Ed, called them uh, Ed the sock. Blue, Ed the sock. Yeah, movies. he was in a dog. He was in a dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're thinking Triumph. The, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Ed the sock. That's not that raunchy. That's, Ed, that's no. I thought Conan. Ed the sock had yeah. like a uh, like every once in a while they would have like just like a a tub. Yeah, a hot just tub on the girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah or oh, like okay. yeah. or like it would have like spring break things. But then after that, they would show what they called the blue movies. Okay, okay. So there would be like what. Like, uh, what was a big one? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you don't have like Red Shoe Diaries. Was that a thing? Red Shoe Diaries. Oh, yeah. That's something? with David Duchovny. Y- yes. Yeah yeah. 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 With a white dog. So they would show that on like, yeah. I, I remember when TV. I came and I moved from Canada to uh, Houston to here on in Hamilton, there was a channel that it was uh, like a lady stripping uh, with a pole and it'd be a commercial for a strip club in Hamilton. Oh, this was not what? a. Yeah, I thought it was a common thing in Canada, but like this would come on. And I even showed Umer. I'm like, look at this. This lady just stripping and there's just a number at the bottom and an address where you can go and see strippers. And I thought it was crazy marketing. But apparently it was. Uh, yes. And I am odd for talking about it's, it. It's, I have it's, never it's seen easy that. to buy. It's easy to buy like airtime yeah, at nighttime. Channel 14. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> that's true. 100%. It's easy to do that. Houston had Christian channels. Just fully Christian channels where like a black dude would rap about Jesus. Yeah. And they would have power lifters. And they would like rip phone books. And like, you know, like a catheter bag, they would blow it up and ex- make it explode for Jesus. My God, you guys those, wouldn't have those that. guys yeah. are those guys are my favorite because they come up with phrases like "sweet googly moogly" and stuff. They like that. say things, yeah, yeah, yeah it's say, incredible. Yeah, and you know they're not even Christian that I much. They're know. just they're just pretending to they're do it for Jesus. They're debaucherous lives. Yeah, like, I'd love to see that documentary. Yo, yeah, those people all probably died and went to hell. I mean, they did some good. Right, Maybe I don't got, think they got some people. They, yeah. brought, they brought people together. I feel yeah. like if you're the type of a human that's going to be drawn towards religion, if a guy blows up a catheter or like rips up a phone book, and that draws you to uh, the Lord, um, some people there's not some simple people out there, bro. <laughs> that's true, man. <laughs> you know, they sometimes that, all, that's yeah. all they need. They, they need, need that. Need, uh, they need uh, one yeah. basic need coin that, trick yeah. to yeah. bring them to Jesus. <laughs> that is it. Also, apparently, for you to rip a a, a phone book, yeah, there's a there's a way to do it. Oh, yeah? There's a way to do it that regular people oh. can do it. It's probably a prayer, you say. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so this was a great sports podcast. Yeah. 
<laughs> Have you heard of Mark Gozel? What, what Mark are we Gazal. At, what are we at? Time Mark Gazal. I'm kidding. We are one uh, one hour oh and five minutes. God. We've done good. The, we normally do like because like the, you, you, our runtime is talk, long. We don't see it all though. Because the problem that is that sucks. we came to multiple points. We're like, all right, it's winding down. Yeah. We're like, we're in this for another twenty for this. This is interesting. <laughs> you know what? Shit. Yeah, I'm totally okay with it. We but can end it on just, basketball. Let's just end it with basketball because that's the only real thing that's like very. Are you guys gonna do a two thirty five podcast? Maybe. Okay. Because if you are going to, then we won't do predictions, but I won't okay. hear predictions. I'll watch that podcast. Yeah, we'll do it later. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, Mark Gazal has now joined the Raptors. Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, welcome, Mr. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a very tall individual who can do a, he can land that fade. Legit he seven-footer, great yep. passer. He's good. Uh, he's good. He's, he's a, uh, what was it? He was a uh, uh, best uh, defense player of 2016, yep. 17, I believe. Uh, I barely that remember that season. Uh, yeah, I don't know if, that, if it was that close. I can't remember. Or maybe a little bit before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a little, per- perhaps a little bit before. Are you guys happy with the trade? Uh, yeah, I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm okay, okay with, with it, it because you've kind of committed to this being an all-in. Yeah, this year. is the year. So this that's is the year to that's, do. It. Uh, you know it what? sucked giving up JV, but Miles didn't want. Uh, sorry, not Miles. Uh, Miles didn't want to be here. No, no, Delon didn't. I don't think Delon wanted to be here. He wanted they weren't to get, playing him. He wanted to get more money and yeah. get more playing time. He wasn't going to get that. They weren't yeah. playing Miles him at all. Miles was a, a disappointment. Dud. Right? Danny Green took a spot. Danny Green was like, I'll make, I'll take all these shots and make them think. Yeah, and it sucked That's to see sad. JV go, but again, I don't. I think yeah. we've talked about this. JV didn't grow as much as I would have liked to have seen him grow. A lot of people here. were saying the same thing. The the commentary around JV is the fact that you know Toronto as a whole had a like a high hopes for JV, yeah. and uh, he's developing his three like his three point game a little bit too I, late I, in his in his uh, in his development. So right. time for you to go. Well, I mean, like it's also cool that. You know, JV is one of those guys who came in from like the Toronto program. So we're actually, you know, we we can build cool cool players yeah. and then be able to to trade them off for better players. So that's yeah. Cool. yeah. You know what? It's interesting because it's true. If you look at like a lot of our talent, uh, Norman Powell, Siakam, a lot of these people were Delon Wright. Like these guys were homegrown. Mm-hmm. And you know, like being a Houston fan, it's something Houston as a team never did or does. And right. there's some teams that just don't. They don't like. That's not how they <clears throat> put teams together. They're like, we'll get them later. Yeah, but it was. Uh, I felt like it was rude of people to expect JV to do more. That's what he does. This is like it looked he was, like he was nice off the bench this year. Yeah, it was good. It was good to see that role. Right, and that's a, a full credit to Nick Nurse. I don't like the fact that they're going all in on this season. Really? Yeah. Why? Your because window is so small to win. We a don't. Job. We have Kawhi for one year, maybe. Right, and that's it, that's the interesting thing is that like we've put ourselves in this situation where this makes perfect sense to get, go for Marcus All because. You don't know if you're going to get Kawhi back, and this is as good of a season to go for it as possible. I just feel like if we don't get it this season, we're going to be bad for like six years or something. I don't think so. I don't think we're going to be that bad of a team next year. I think this is the bet. People, and this this is honestly the whole conversation we need to have, has Toronto changed enough that people would want to come here if you offer them a situation enough money? Because in my mind, I don't know, and that's because... I've always been from somewhere else. Right. That, like, that's always been your feeling. Can you yeah. attract talent to this cold ass city? Right. You know, is the question that really nobody knows. True. I feel like. But I think also people don't know specifically because we've we've never made it to a championship game. I yeah. mean, championship rounds. We've so, never, yeah. <clears throat> we've but, never been that team. But I think if we do this year, mm-hmm. it might change the narrative of the city. It might. Because like the city has been changing its uh, sort of like its, its rep to other basketball for, for like in a big way yeah exactly and as a result of the fact that you know it's become more of a legitimate city it's drake's like, there yeah exactly you know? and that's definitely helped despite the drake curse so like you know um, What's the drake, drake curse every 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 what did every you read team, and believe tell every, me <laughs> every, <laughs> every every team that he supports they lose that's really a, yeah. yeah and Most he even teams. had like a thing where he had a jersey with all of the football player teams that were in like the semifinals and really he's like, so now he can't he, he, the joke i think was he, something along the lines of like you, let him like he can't the you, you, yeah. he can't curse them all and it, it just happened like both of those teams went to double overtime or something <laughs> do you know what teams he supports out of curiosity i i don't remember I'd like to i don't this. remember yeah but then is that and then you know he, he supported connor and then connor got right, smashed right, 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 and then right, right. It, like so there was that it's been developing over time and so I now see. is the thing who scares you now with, with the players we have in place the team obviously we have to aggressively target the buyout market yeah but who scares you once we f- fill out our roster in the, east. in the east? Yeah. I think Boston is still Boston's very scary. Still, yeah. no, you know me. why? 
Because Danny Ainge is a wily guy. Like, sure. That guy's he's not a, playing. He's not playing at all. And yeah. like, so the Bucks are great too. The they're Bucks th- are the only concern. The th- their three point shooting is ridiculous. Yeah, and Can before, everyone shoot three? But here's the thing, that's why I think yeah. we got Gasol. Because yeah. on defense, right. their entire methodology is collapsing around the rim. Mm-hmm. And Gasol take, being able to shoot that three, that's being true. able to step on a pass the ball is huge. Yeah. And before we did the Gasol deal, I was like, God damn, Boston got better, Philly got better, yeah. uh, 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 Milwaukee got better with the Miritich signing. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh no, this is bad. But then as soon as the Gasol thing happened, I'm, I was back to being confident. Shout it's out true. to Masai Ujiri. Yeah. That, that size the man. That guy. Yeah, everybody was so mad at him. So mad at him for training DeRozan. You're like, well, you know, that's what we got to do to win a championship. Now it's like, that's what we got to do to win a championship. Yeah, no, it's yeah. true. I think, we, I think we've said it before. It's like, as soon as... The chip happens. Mm-hmm. Yep. Everybody forgets everything. Yeah, yeah. Nobody has no. None of these teams in the East have ever proven anything. So that's like anything could happen. Like Boston with Kyrie is like that team has never proven anything. Uh, Philadelphia has never ever proven anything. And if you look at Milwaukee, like everybody's poised, but like yeah. none of these teams are have been there and done that. Yeah, and that's the the, the reason I'm like it makes sense to go for Mil- Gasol. Milwaukee is the only team that kind of I see posing a threat. But mm. even I think in a seven game series, I don't think they 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 take us. Yeah, yeah. And we won both times in their house. Yeah, that was. I don't cool. count none of that. I don't count nothing in the regular playoffs. Season. The playoffs are I, different. Yeah. I count. But all man, of it. they're three. No. Yeah, but <laughs> you're put, right, man. Their three point everywhere. shooting is. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is that is real upsetting. And we're so streaky. Yeah, like we'll have a night where we get like three and nineteen, and then there's other days where it's like career high. <laughs> yeah, I wish Lowry was like better on offense. I wish she, like he was scoring a little. He did twenty two last game. Yeah, he did he, well. Uh, that's okay. Like he averages. That's a high scoring game for him. Is getting into twenties. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. But his yeah. pass, his passing has never he's, suffered. He's always. I know, this past man, but I he's feel almost like, a triple double threat when he's on. I feel night. like our team. Uh, I'm glad we have Kawhi and Gasol. It's just like we're gonna. We're good enough to get into those situations where, like, all right, we need a bucket, and I wish we had. You need uh, Kyle. A few years ago, was that guy that will always give you that shot, and like DeRozan, no, uh, in the playoffs, no, but in the regular season, a hundred percent, yes. And that's why I'm like, I don't count the regular season for anything, because like, you'll prove who you are in the playoffs, because this we've never have but now we don't look like anything like we used to i'm so glad we kept uh, siakam yeah uh, well siakam is gonna i might turn into he might have the dna of the of the clutch the the clutch clutch player yeah he's remember that one take shots did you remember that 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 game where last week yeah where it was like give the ball to siakam yes you do that yeah i need you and then one of the coaches said i need you to run out the clock until zero Mm. and siakam literally releases the ball right when it turns zero Mm. yeah that was Whew, I got yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah, I was so happy time. for him to I have I wouldn't a have win. given him up in any deal except no. for not that we had a chance, but there was talk Anthony about Anthony Davis. Davis. Yeah, yeah. That then there's that's a no brainer. Yeah, but uh, our top five is as good as anybody in the East. Yeah. Well, oh, man, Philly's I, looking really good in their top five too. Philly, but I'm not scared of them. Still. Who's their point guard? I mean, ben I know Ben Simmons is, but yeah. like, does Riddick start or is he off Riddick the bench? Riddick starts. Yeah, he starts, and then uh, okay. they'll bring McConnell off the bench and TJ McConnell. Oh, okay. Yeah, and <clears throat> Jamal and is a monster, on but I think right. like having that big body with Gasol, I'm pumped. Did you guys watch the game last night? Gasol yeah, played. I yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did well. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, did he well for solid. first game. First game in. Seemed all right. Coming yeah. off the bench, it's we fine. should I, struggle yeah. with New York this much, but nah, it yeah, was all right. True. We had I mean, we beat start. Atlanta by like one point two, right? So yeah, what's up with that? That's the oh, you know, we we have a thing of uh, see, we can. It's almost like now that we can count on the Raptors to do some sort of like comeback. They can do a twenty point de- deficit and they can come back, but I can never, I can never trust them of holding a big lead, yeah. and I can't trust them for being able to do a good play at yeah. the end of a, like at the end of the fourth quarter. I can't Those are the two things I'm scared about. How many times I've looked at, um, like live betting when the yeah. Raps are up by seventeen, eighteen, mm-hmm. and then the odds for the other team to win mm-hmm. are you know you drop <laughs> you drop like a hundred bucks, you get like thirteen hundred back, and I've been tempted so many times. And not done it, but it's like panned out that way. Yeah. You know, like it's they will very play like ten guys in a game where I'm like, yeah, how can you have that much consistency running through that many people? Yeah. Like it just seems like a lot more than other teams. You know, we do. I was actually going to say this initially when we were going to talk about the UFC, but uh, John Jones reminds me of the Raps a bit because mm-hmm. he, they play down to their competition. Right. Yeah. I that's feel true. like kind of Jones does the same thing if he's mm. facing. Yeah. You yeah. know, but I think the Raps are infamous for it. it's like it's a New York, it's Atlanta. They don't try as hard. They yeah. don't. You know, it's it's really frustrating. And that's where, like, if you look at a 
normally extremely dominant teams, I feel like they let lower teams know that you don't belong here early and they just hold on to it. Yeah. yeah. And that's... Yeah. We yeah. do not do that. No. <laughs> not at all. And we almost give them a chance. We make them enough, feel good. There's enough crappy teams in the league to like really, like New York should not be giving you a problem, but I guess they've, they've retooled a little bit. What's a success for you this year for the Raps? That's a good question, man. Uh, championship. Round. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh the, the reaching the final. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Finals. I agree. Yeah. I, uh, I don't think if they reach the finals and get swept, it's a success. Oh, if wow. we take Golden State to six. Yeah. I'm happy. Okay. Oh wow! I just yeah. want. I just want to. I just want to. Just want to get there. Right? I just want to get there. I want to see on on the wood the championship written in cursive. Yeah, that's that's what what would be, that yeah, would be that would be the it. only thing that's, that's success. To Getting to the Eastern Conference Finals is not. No. I feel like that's what you should do, given that you've put so much on I agree. the line. Yeah. I agree. 100%. Like that's a given. You have to get to the finals. You have to beat. Probably Boston's going to be there. I would say Boston is somehow, and I I do mean this in a seven game series. Your coach matters as much as any player. Sure. And I feel like uh, Boston's that team. Yeah. And they could do it. And Kyrie, I think as long as everybody's healthy, Boston's that Kyrie team. Kyrie went down last night. He seemed Something right. serious or he I don't seemed, know. He walked off and okay. uh, he might have like a issue, but he'll be back probably in a couple of weeks. Okay. Yeah. It didn't look like a, a bad enough knee injury, but it did seem like a knee injury. So man. we'll see what okay. happens. Oh, man. But we, I don't know, man. It'll be fun. It'll That'll be fun. Be fun. That will be definitely fun. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah. I just one last thing. Yeah. I still out of all the players to watch, I have the most fun watching KD play. Mm. KD? Yeah. Not uh, not Giannis? Uh no. When I watch KD, I will go on YouTube and go down a rabbit hole of just watching him. Like there's there's 30 minutes of him just doing one on ones <laughs> versus his own teammates. I'm yeah. just sitting there just like eating food. Just like this is great. He is That's incredible. Fantastic. Yeah. Is he in Golden State next year? Mm. I want to say, no, I don't think so. What do you think? What do you think? I don't know. Tell me. You think uh, they keep I playing? Because that's the question. I think uh, Clay will go to LA. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, KD might go to New York. Okay. Something that frustrates me a lot yeah. is this whole thing about people not wanting to play in Toronto, okay. but they want to play in New York. Like yeah. New York's the biggest market yeah. next hey, to the have Lakers. Have you been to New York? I've been to New York. Okay. Then then what's the problem? What's the big upgrade? It's New in York. In the city. Yeah. It's New York, man. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything to me. It, no, New it, York. Is it special. should mean something. It's a great. It's a great. It's city. possibly the greatest city in North America, right? In my opinion, it's the greatest city with possibly the deepest basketball history and a hollow even just stadium. Like sports history. Yeah, shitty stadium, shitty owner, shitty definitely like, shitty owner. Yeah, uh, shitty. You think Madison Square Garden is shitty? Just because you got to wear uh, a toque when you're inside. It's like, what's it's good. what's your problem? <laughs> uh, no, my my problem is that it's the that owner. It I is, completely agree. No, no, but my my problem is that it is the place to play. Unfortunately, and yeah, I'm from in my head. And the only reason why. for that is like I don't know. I've been to New York, and once I got there and I walked around, I was I'm like, like, oh, <coughs> I was like, oh yeah, they can see why this is the greatest yeah. city in 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 winter. Yeah, really, eh? It's fine. Yeah, I don't see the big upgrade, man. Yeah. I, it's I the really city, don't. man. I don't know what to tell I you. I do, but I, I'm, I'm I might be missing it. I do agree. New York is amazing, but like I don't see the big difference between playing there and playing in Toronto. I mean, it depends on also the lifestyle that you want to you want to live, right? I mean, it's you know, there's there's different opportunities available. More I feel marketing, like, more yeah, marketing, marketing over there. Yeah, yeah I think right. the, the I level... do totally understand LA. I totally understand the Florida teams. Right. I understand playing for uh, your guy, or sorry, not your guys, um, Dallas, like sure. with an owner like Cuban. People, yeah, people want to win for that guy. Yeah, but I, I do not <laughs> get the Knicks. That was reading a Cora question, mm -hmm. uh, and it was like, "What should KD do to solidify his uh, his his status?" And like the highest rated comment was, "He should go play in Toronto." <laughs> I don't know about that. He, he teased that. The, the, I thought he, Kyrie going to New York and somehow bringing a championship there would solidify his status as you know. Do you, do you guys rate Kyrie like, like as a, an all timer? As a as a like top three guy in the league? I don't personally. Top five? I give him. Uh, yeah, I give him top seven. Top ten? I give him top ten. Yeah, but this whole like he's very frustrated that talks about where he goes are based on where AD goes, where KD goes, oh, whatever. I, I, I'm just yeah. like, hey man, like. I guess you have to think like that. All as of these athlete, guys are pre like even Kevin Durant getting all upset about like you guys are talking about me going yes. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, shut up, <laughs> yeah. all you babies. Yeah. <laughs> it's they're paying you so much. Yeah. yeah, answer the question or ignore the question. 
don't get upset about being asked questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how much of a snowflake are you, for God's sakes? Yeah. These questions about where I might play in a contract year are bothering me. Yeah. Okay. I think it might be KD and AD in New York, and that's I would love be that man. Friggin' scary. KD and God. AD Can in you New imagine? York. My my dad does now. He watches a lot of basketball. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. Amazing. As a result, because like the thing, I got season tickets, right? And so my shut up. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, and so every once in a while, when like at the last minute, Zia will call and be like, "Fell through. Uh, we don't have anyone for this game, so one of us got to go." And I got kids, so <laughs> you got to go. Dad. And I'm already right. uh, like, "Who am I going to get in the short term?" Right. So I just like ask my dad. You want to go? Yeah. <laughs> right? We're just getting there just before the cutoff of the 30-minute the thing. And then we just watched. So now my dad's like a hardcore Raptors That's fan. That's amazing. So now when he's watching, he watched Golden State. Yeah. And he's never said that about any player. Mm. He watched KD play. It was this thing when KD needed, I mean, Golden State was down and they needed uh, they needed seven points. They gave it to KD twice and he and he drains two threes like, like uh, back to back. And my dad goes, he's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so that is how people cold. view him right now. Ice yeah. cold because it's like that's too much. If it didn't like that, and now Demarcus, this like, is so Demarcus silly is that nice too. Yeah, none of us are. Nobody's talking about who's gonna win the championship. Yeah, it's like who else is gonna be there? Yeah, is is the are Lakers gonna get it to the playoffs? No one's asking if who's gonna win the championship, yeah. and that's yeah. And that's why I'm more interested in the off season because I'm like. All of this might be super different. And the NBA does that. Like mm -hmm. every now and then in the off season, certain things happen. You're like, oh, whole new ball game. Yeah. Like, so I, let's see. I just, I just want, just last thing. Mm -hmm. I just, I just want some level of drama to break up the, the Golden State. Because Golden State, it seems that they will fight against each other as mm -hmm. long. But if Steph is there, Steph is like, all right, quiet. Listen, you know, I yeah. love God. Steve's talking. Right? Just being quiet. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, literally we'll, yeah. we'll calm everyone down. But, yeah. but with, with, without this God-fearing man, family man, right. they will just... He's not religious. I, he seems to be in my head. I <laughs> just like you made that. In your head. <laughs> I like how you made that. Up. He just seems like he's like he's that type of guy. You know, there was a like, bit of that when Draymond went at KD. Like we don't need you. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, oh, this is the beginning of the end. That's what I thought. All we need, all we need, Steph is like a thirst like, trap. Like some some lady yeah, going yeah. in there and just and just causing a, a, a ruckus. That's what the Clippers need to do. That's what like some other team is trying to break <laughs> just, this down. Just, is like just send out send yeah, out the yeah, honeypot. Yeah. Your boy needs to legit How needs to fuck you? off. Harden needs to mean? fuck off. What He's, do you mean? That I think it was after his like fifty one point game. I'm like stop. Enough. <laughs> It was like the show. What do you like, want him to do? I, I need him to fuck off. I need what? him to stop scoring. Look, there's Clint Capella's God been hurt. Damn. Nobody else is doing anything. <laughs> trying to make sure Chris Paul can get it, you know, play 22 play minutes without getting hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave the guy alone. He's going to make a lot of points. He almost had a triple double last night. <laughs> yeah. He CP, I mean. Yeah. yeah. Almost messed around and got a triple double. Houston looks nice, though, man. <laughs> they're like, they're where they should be without yeah. Clint Capella, yeah. in my opinion. The Fareed signing's turning out good for them, though. The Fareed, Ken Fareed is great. Yeah. Yeah. I guy has two moms. What? Yeah. Does he really? Yeah, you didn't know that? I did not Two know moms. That. White moms. Guy was adopted. Good for him. Not even a, like connected to the conversation, really, yeah. but can you imagine? Does, and they uh, made a manimal? Like they made a human highlight reel? Does white privilege like leak onto him in that situation? Uh, <laughs> I think so, but then whatever like, you know, takeaways you have from having two moms will probably bring you down a yeah, notch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because that's not something you're like, you really, like, that's tough. Having two moms. Black dude with dreads with two like lesbian white moms. No one's messing moms. with him. Because well, you know he also, was like a foot you know, bigger than everybody else. Also, you know you can't call them dreads. I learned this recently. You can Did do whatever you, you want, man. Live your yeah, life. You're not supposed to call them nah. What do you call them? Just locks. Locks? Yeah. But just calling it locks is just hair. Who are you corrected yeah. by? Uh, an individual who had locks. Ah. Yeah. Was it a white person doing, with locks? No, no. It was a black person. Okay. <laughs> and I said nice dreads. And yeah. like locks. I'm like. Yeah, yeah, nice dreadlocks. <laughs> like, no, 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 just locks. Did you ask like, huh? any more questions? Because I, I did, know, I did. Like, no, why? it's supposedly the association with dreadlocks. Like, no, with the word dread is yeah. like it's a negative. Oh, and I was like, okay, I guess I get that, but like, yeah, but what have you called so them cool. your whole life? Yeah, and he's like, I called them dreadlocks. I was like, so did I, but it was never anything. Yeah, negative. He's like, I'm just telling you. I'm like, well, I guess I have to take this information. Yeah. yeah. Also, when I hear dread, I never hear anything bad. The only thing I hear when I hear dread is judge, judge. dread. Yep. Me too. Which is also badass. Yeah. But then again, it's not. It's not. It's not my feeling of a word, really. So <laughs> yeah. whatever you want to call locks, questions. you call I'm it like, locks. What do you What do you do with your locks? <laughs> That's it does so sound like, silly though. Yeah. Dreadlocks does sound cool. Yeah. Yeah. But if he's in prison, you're like, those are dreadlocks. That guy did some horrible things. <laughs> you ever do them? Dreadlocks? Yeah. Or horrible things? 
No, no. Well, horrible things I know you've nah, done. Right. We, need the, we need to wrap this shit up. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm like, we can I was, talk about li- literally, literally, while you're talking, I can see the path of dreadlock <laughs> of like another 15-minute conversation. You're like, all right, we got to go. We got to yeah. go. All right. All right. We shouldn't people. call a mohawk a mohawk, though. That's kind of f- offensive. Right? Because of hawks? Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what I freaking meant. Yeah, see. To dudes me uh, named Mo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To dudes <laughs> named Mo. Oh, the all right, everybody. Thanks all for right. listening. Uh, thanks for hanging in there. Uh, what was yeah, this? Yeah, really, man. An hour and almost twenty minutes. An That's hour not 20 that minutes. much. Not too bad. Not too bad no. at all. Yeah, we've had longer. All right, let's talk about dreadlock somewhere. Let me know when this uh, <laughs> UFC thing happens. I want to. We'll let in. you know. We'll let we you know. Will. Shaz, Definitely. always a pleasure. Thanks, hey, man. Thanks for having me. me. Appreciate it. All right, people. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Uh, we love you all. Take care of yourselves. We'll be back in a week. Good night.